This quick video is going to show you how to set up a um, simple circuit using Yenka, which we, is our circuit simulator and control simulator. Um, when you open the program, you're, you're brought to this sort of home screen and we're going to choose basic circuits at first. We go OK. And then we've got our um, menu, our picker, our chooser over on the left, which allows us to choose what we're going to put into our circuit. We're going to start off, as it's the first one, with pictorial components. Now we're going to choose um, a power supply. All circuits need some form of power. Uh, and the simplest version is a battery. So we're going to choose a 9 volt battery. Now we're going to want to something to happen. We need some sort of output. Um, and we're going to choose a standard um, bit of test equipment called a filament bulb. Okay. So we've got here a, two of our most important bits of a, of a functioning circuit. Um, but in order to add control, I need something to make this circuit more useful. I've got power, I've got an output. What am I going to use for um, controlling it? Right, I need a switch. And the switch is going to allow me to turn the circuit on and to turn it off when, when it's been done with. So we're going to choose this switch. This is an SPST switch, meaning it's got a single throw. It does one thing. Okay, and you can see here we've got the connector. Um, the wires here are shown as open. If I press the switch, you'll see that that little lever there comes across and it makes a connection. Okay, so that opens and closes. Single pole, single throw switch. Okay, now at the moment it's in the open position. So I've got my positive uh, terminal of my battery. I'm going to connect up my 9 volt battery to my switch. And you see these little flags appear here. Um, that shows that I've got nine volts available that's my potential energy and i've got zero amps or parts of an amp flowing as current the electrons passing around the circuit they're called current and at the moment there are no amps flowing despite there being a nine volt supply can anyone think why there's no amps flowing essentially what you've got is an open gap in the circuit so if i close that switch you've got our current available through here but we still have no amps flowing okay and that's because we haven't connected up our circuit our circuit has to finish it has to go from the beginning and it has to go all the way around and it has to connect to the negative terminal of the battery otherwise it's not a complete circuit and current is not able to flow okay so we're now at the position where we've connected up our switch our battery and our filament lamp we're connected to the positive terminal and the negative terminal of the battery, but we still have no amps flowing through the circuit, no, no current flowing around the circuit. So essentially what we've got to do is we've got to close the switch. We've got a gap here. We've got a break in the circuit. If we close that switch, bing, suddenly our light comes on. We open it, light off. Okay. And what you'll also notice, if I was to click on any of these little points where it's measuring the power, We've got 481.17 milliamps. That's thousandths of an amp flowing through. 481.17 milliamps flowing. Okay, so that's a simple circuit connecting the positive to the negative through a load, which is in this case is a, a lamp with an opening and closing controlling switch. Thank you.